In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Then we are going to choose a solid color. So we're going to copy the hex code. And we paste. We are going to create a new layer. It is the opacity to 100. Then we are going to set our foreground to white. Use the right bucket key to increase the brush size. Then we click once. With the move to selected, we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. Then we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. This is before and after. We are going to create another solid color. And we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. With the mask selected, we are going to grab a soft tone brush. Set the foreground to black. Increase the by size by the right bracket key and click and make a few clicks so this is before and after we are going to reduce the opacity because that is too much so let's grab our resources first of all we are going to copy this ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste so we are going to position it right in the middle so that it is aligned vertically in the middle so we are going to grab our next items. We can select these two and we copy that. We paste. So we are going to position this at their right positions. Then we are going to grab the next item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to grab the test. Undo. We are going to position the test just this way. Once we have everything in place, we are going to adjust this. We click the check mark to confirm. So with the tail layer selected, we are going to create a max. Reduce the opacity. We are actually going to make it look as if it's coming from the back. So with the mark selected, we are going to grab a pen tool. Then we are going to create a selection this way. We are going to create a selection this way. Ctrl Enter to create a selection. If you grab any of the marquee tool, you right click and refill with a foreground color which is black. And we click OK. And that's gone. Ctrl D to deselect. So we cannot set our opacity back to 100. We are going to apply an exposure adjustment layer. So 
So with the layer selected, if I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer, so we'll be creating some shadows. So we take the slider down. This is before and after. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. So we are going to grab a soft round brush. Reduce the brush size by the left bracket key. We are going to reduce the opacity. And we are going to set our foreground to white since we are going to paint. So we can now apply some shadows. First of all, we clip the layer onto that so that the effect applies only to the image. We are going to be applying some shadows. We take down the opacity and apply some shadows. So we are going to apply shadows to this as well. So we click on the exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, right click and clip the layer onto the, we clip that exposure layer onto the layer. With the mask selected, we press Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush and we take the opacity up a bit. And we are going to paint some shadows. Before and after. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. We have that clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. We take down the opacity. And then we paint some soft shadows. So we are going to apply shadows onto this as well. So with the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. We increase the opacity a bit and we are going to paint some shadows. First of all, we right click and clip the layer. Clip the layer onto the image layer so that it applies only to that layer. So we are just going to be painting some shadows. This is before and after. We don't move to selected. This is before and after. We are going to reduce the opacity. We need to click another exposure adjustment layer. Already clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush. We reduce the opacity and we are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer. We clip it onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert, we grab a soft sand brush. We increase the opacity. We zoom in and paint some shadows. So we're going to apply another exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. 
resuming take down the opacity first and we are going to apply some shadows So I'm going to exposure and just run the layer. Already clip onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. Then we grab a soft turn brush. We increase the opacity. And we are going to paint some shadows. To increase the bar size, we are going to paint some shadows here. We set the foreground to black and we clean. We create a new layer. And we are going to change the roundness. So we set the roundness at 11. We increase the opacity for. And we are going to zoom in. And apply some shadows. So we did down the opacity. We take down the opacity for this as well. So we're to create an enemy. So we are going to delete to this layer since we don't like that. With a move to select it. I'm going to scroll it down. Select the shadows. Create another layer. Then we'll grab our soft numbers. And we'll create some contact shadows beneath. So with the layer selected, Ctrl T, then we right click and we warp. We are adjusted this way and we click the check mark to confirm. And we are going to take the opacity now. We create another layer, we off that one and put it up and we create another layer and we create another contact shadows. So this way, we create another layer, we increase the bright side by the right bracket key and we create another contact shadows this way. So with the wolf tool selected, So we are creating some highlights right here. So with the 
lasso to we are going to create some selection this way once we have it we are going to create an exposure so we take this slider down for highlight this is before enough that sorry about your eyes this is too bright so with the max selected not the layer the max able to fill tab blur and gaussian blur so i'm going to set the radius at 115 this is before and after we are changing the blur to overlay and reducing the opacity to 22 that's okay this is before and after with the layer selected ctrl g to make a copy we change the blend mode to over to normal then we take the opacity just a little up So with everything in place we press ctrl alt shift e to merge all layers once we have the layer we go to filter camera or filter and we are going to just adjust these settings until it is cool so i'm going to be playing with these settings Once that is done, I click OK. So this is before and after. Camera roll. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and keep creating.